Hey y'all, Jason here. Um, I know it's been a really long time. I think it's been almost two years or so since I made a video. Um, so I know I've been MIA, um, but I was just kind of inspired to make a video and see how it goes. Um, I don't want to say this is like a comeback or the beginning of anything like weekly. Um, it could be, um, but I'm not quite ready to like dedicate myself that much. <laughs> um, I feel like um, I've always, I always just did this for fun. Um, so, you know, if it's the beginning of something, great. If not, um, hopefully you'll just enjoy the video. Um, just don't hold me to anything. Um, but uh, last week, somebody sent me a link to um, a YouTube video by, um, well, his name is Kevin. I can't actually remember his YouTube screen name. But anyways, he was doing a video um, about his top 10 favorite Yankee candle scents. So, and in the video, he talked about, you know, people he'd like to see do one. And he actually mentioned my name. Um, which I was very flattered because, um, you know, it's been so long since I've been around YouTube um, that, I, you know, I just didn't think anybody would still even remember me. So um, I was really flattered and I thought that was very nice and it actually kind of um, inspired me to think about making another video and just kind of seeing where it goes. Um, also, I think maybe it's the fall season if you used to watch my videos, you know um, fall's always been my favorite, and so I kind of get a little inspired around the fall season. So, um, of course, in the last two years, I've been burning and melting just as I always have. I've never like gotten out of wax or anything. Um, but I did get to a point when I was doing YouTube videos where um, sometimes I felt like I didn't have a, um, enough material. Um, I've never been like a hoarder. I'm not like downing anybody that collects and um, accumulates a lot of wax. Um, I certainly have my moments where, you know, I will buy more than usual, but in general, I don't keep a huge uh, wax stash. Um, I kind of buy what I need as I need it and um, so sometimes I felt like I didn't have um, a ton of material uh, to keep up the weekly reviews or whatever. Um, and also I felt like um, because I don't really follow vendors, um, Wax kind of went in the vendor direction um, around the time you know I was doing videos and around the time I quit and everybody was all about certain vendors and actually I still prefer to walk into a store and buy uh, my wax. I like to be able to smell it, smell it first and um, choose what I like. So um, you know of course I've tried vendors and I've done vendor videos before but um, in general I don't order from a lot of um, just eat or you know uh, E vendors or whatever you know I um, I still prefer to go into the store um, so you know I'm still a Yankee fan I'm still a Bath and Body Works fan um, and I'm still actually um, like a Walmart wax cube fan so uh, you know and sometimes I felt like maybe that wasn't enough to keep the videos going on a weekly basis um, however, I mean, it could be. I could do reviews. Um, uh, there's a lot of things I could do. Top 10 videos. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to kind of go with it and see what happens and, um, and go from there. Um, so, also, as you can see, I have not upgraded my camera. Um, I'm still pretty, like, I'm very amateur. Like, I just do this for fun it's never going to be fancy um, but 
you know, I still have some subscribers, so I hope you all might um, enjoy the video. So today I went to Bath and Body Works and I got four candles. Now I hadn't been to Bath and Body Works since um, the semi-annual sale uh, in the summer, I guess. Yeah, there's a summer one. And um, so, and I only bought two candles. I was just out shopping at, you know, not necessarily for candles and uh, ran into a Bath and Body Works store when they were having the sale and I ended up with two candles. And I'm not a huge fan of their summery candles really. So um, even then, like I found two fall ones that were on sale and I was done with it. Um, but so I hadn't been to Bath and Body Works in a long time but you know it's fall and I um, was looking online and I w had watched a couple of YouTube videos so I saw um, several very cute labeled um, candles that I wanted to check out so um, I went ahead and went in there today and got some candles oh I kinda didn't mention like like life has been life has changed some for me um, I think that when I stopped doing videos um, my dad had just passed away um, I know I did a few during that time when he was very ill and um, but I think just like after he passed away I just I don't even think I did any more maybe one or two but um, so I think I was going through that the grieving process um, and then so I just kind of fell off of doing wax videos so and like I said it was the combination of not feeling like I had enough material I just wasn't feeling it basically and then um, uh, Ron and I decided to move um, so we moved from Oklahoma City to Chicago mm -hmm. last summer so um, not this past summer but the a year ago summer so um, so we've been in Chicago um, now for a year and some months um, so it was a huge change um, I've always really loved Chicago and always just it was always kind of like a dream of mine to live there and um, or here um, so we finally did it Ron was not for years he was not on board with it but um, we just both he got to a point where he was like hey let's let's go for it so we we did and so um, so yeah this is a whole different apartment um, it's actually smaller it's, um, not that my apartment in Oklahoma City was big but this is definitely smaller um, but I'm where I want to be and I love it here and so yeah here I am so and now I um, am, do am doing a video on Bath and Body Works so let's get to that I know it's like eight minutes in you know me I'm just like I start rambling and I haven't even talked about a candle 10 minutes into it so I only got four today of course um, they were having a buy one get one free deal which I was waiting for and so um, of course I jumped on it um, and then they uh, had the ten dollars off 30 coupons so on top of that so um, really great deal for three wick candles for 38 bucks with tax so can't beat that um, and I'm a happy camper so I decided to you know I could have gone really overboard because so many smelled so good um, but I decided to only get four because I've got you know quite a through quite a few Yankee candles to get through um, I've got a couple of our own candle company candles that I'm working on so in order to get through all these fall candles I just went with four candles today so and I wanted to try something new something that I hadn't tried before um, but I had to have my favorite um, and the ever classic uh, perennial favorite 
leaves so I picked one of those up most of you know what it smells like um, I'm not even gonna get into the sin description or anything like that because it's leaves it's classic and it's just it wouldn't be fall without it so had to have one of those um, and then the other three I got were new to me I don't know how long they've been out I don't think last fall I didn't really keep up with Bath and Body Works at all so I have no idea if these were out last year um, but when I saw these labels I just thought they were the cutest labels I've ever ever seen on candles and let's just put it this way I'm not a fan not to digress too much but um, you know the new Yankee labels we'll get into that in another video not happy about that but that's another topic for another video okay so but these labels are adorable so the first one I picked up is pumpkin woods and I'm sure like these oh no I'm sure these were um, these have been picked apart and analyzed and dissected um, sorry about that yeah that's that's not good but um, I'm sure like months ago is when these were hot and people were talking about them I'm sure people have already moved on to like Valentine's Day candles <laughs> but I'm still I'm these are new to me so um, pumpkin woods it's super adorable like I love this label with the owl um, like these little folk art type labels are just really really cute so um, and then I love the lids with the pumpkins on them so this scent is really nice I love this scent I'm not loving the um, focus issue that I'm having on the camera, so I do apologize for that. You know me, my videos are not glossy or um, polished <laughs> at all. I'm not polished, but it all comes from my art. <laughs> so this fragrance is so awesome. It almost smells, I haven't even read the like the scent description on the bottom, I'm about to. Um, but just smelling it cold I'm definitely getting like maybe even it's very woodsy but like piney woodsy a little bit so it reminds me a little bit of Christmas like fall meets Christmas um, don't know that I'm getting any pumpkin um, but you definitely get such an earthy woodsy a little bit of smokiness to it and it's so good I'm gonna like like this immediately after this video let's see it says woodland spruce well there you go spruce cedar clove buds smoky vanilla so definitely the spruce is out front it is it's out front I mean it smells like a walk in the woods on a late fall day I would say that is really nice and very unique there is I'm detecting like other stuff in there besides just the like the evergreen note but you definitely get the evergreen note so I could see this being a great transitional scent from um, fall time to Christmas time however I will be burning it now because it's that good um, hopefully the throw is great um, I'm going to hopefully do like burning reviews on these when I burn them so we're just gonna get through the other two quickly and I'm gonna let you go I'm not gonna like ramble on for 45 minutes so the next one I got is pumpkin pie I want to say this was um, out last year um, because I think I read some reviews on on their website and people mentioned it from last year but um, it's new to me and I love pumpkin pie scents and this is another adorable label with the little squirrel and the little wagon and of course the pumpkin and it's just so cute the fragrance like cold I'm definitely getting a crust note which I love like I'm you know a lot of pumpkin pie scents it misses that part of it so cold 
I'm really, really loving it. Um, the bottom says creamy pumpkin, vanilla cream, fresh ground nut nutmeg, and graham cracker crust, which, I mean, a pumpkin pie and a graham cracker crust would be amazing. What am I thinking? But are, most pumpkin pies don't have graham cracker crust. But now that I'm smelling it, I do smell the graham cracker. Um, but it's very delicious. I think I'm really going to like this. Um, but yeah, initially just that cold sniff, I'm definitely getting the graham cracker crust. Um, but I'm excited because a lot of the time pumpkin pie scents just miss that part of it, that aspect of crust, whether it's graham cracker or whatever the crust would be. So then the last one I originally intended just because I had perused the website and had looked at all their candles and um, I had had it in my head that berry, I think it's called pumpkin berry strudel or either that or berry pumpkin strudel um, was going to be one of the ones that, that I got. Um, however, because the label is adorable, um, I thought it might be similar to that blueberry pumpkin patch that they had a couple of years ago that I really liked. Um, and I also thought the blue color of it was um, with the white pumpkins on the label was really something kind of different for fall um, kind of breaks up that orange and red and brown um, color palette that you get in most fall candles um, so I was super excited that's like actually the one that I went into the store and like immediately went there and sniffed it because I thought I wanted it but when I smelled it, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. Um, I, and maybe it's different burning. I would love to hear people who have burned this, their thoughts, because I couldn't understand it. Like, I didn't get any, I didn't get pumpkin or berry or anything. Like, I don't know what it was supposed to be. It, it was, um, it almost smelled like, smelled it like smelled like rubbing alcohol to me like uh, I it was very almost like an astringent quality to it and I didn't care for it at all I just I couldn't imagine burning it <laughs> basically and I kept going back and forth like I, I picked up several just to see if they all smelled like that I thought maybe it was just one of them was off but um, it was not working for me so and I struggled with it because I was like, this candle is so cute. I love the color. I love the label. And I wanted to love the scent. But it just, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't what I needed. So anyway, so I just uh, sniffed around and found one that I wanted instead. And ended up with pumpkin French toast. Which, uh, a really cute label. These, all these labels are just adorable. Um, so... This smells so good. I don't know. I mean, it's just bakery bliss. It's just yummy, yummy, yummy. So warm maple syrup, pumpkin spice, caramelized brown sugar. So you definitely get the um, maple note. And I've noticed like all the first notes on the bottom of the candles is really what, what I'm getting first. Definitely the maple note. Uh, maple syrup note so um, and then a little bit of spiciness but you know candles burn differently so I would love to do a warm review when I'm burning these um, just to um, you know get a better feel for how I feel about the candles but anyways really happy with all four uh, I almost ordered online and that would have included the berry pumpkin strudel um, and I'm so I'm glad I w just went into the store today and picked them out because I did not like that cold. So um, yeah, I'd love to hear your favorites for this year um, at Bath and Body Works. And um, if any of you have an opinion about how that berry one smells when burning, I'd love to hear it. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope this is the beginning of a another beautiful era of YouTube videos. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.